page 50 chapter 6 the browning version by terence rattigan notice these expressions in the text infer their meaning from the context 1 remove 2 kept in 3 saddest 4 slackers 5 got carried away 6 shriveled up 7 muck it cut this is an excerpt from the browning version the scene is set in a school frank is young and crocker harris middle aged both are masters taplo is a boy of 16 who has come in to do extra work for crocker harris but the latter has not yet arrived and frank finds taplo waiting Frank do i know you Taplo no sir Frank what's your name Taplo Taplo Frank Taplo no i don't you're not a scientist i gather Taplo no sir i'm still in the lower fifth i can't specialize until next term that's to say if i have got my remove all right Frank don't you know if you have got your remove Taplo no sir Mr Crocker Harris doesn't tell us the results like the other masters This page contain the word Browning version means the reference within the play of Robert Browning's translation of the Greek tragedy Agamemnon Page 51 Frank why not Taplo well you know what he's like sir Frank I believe there is a rule that form results should only be announced by the headmaster on the last day of term. Taplo. Yes, but who else pays attention to it except Mr Crocker Harris? Frank. I don't I admit, but that's no criterion. So you have got to wait until tomorrow to know your fate, have you? Taplo. Yes, sir. Frank. Supposing the answer is favorable, what then? Taplo. Oh, signs, sir, of course. Taplo. Oh science sir of course frank sadly yes we get all the slackers taplo protestingly i am extremely interested in science sir frank are you i am not not at least in the science i have to teach taplo well anyway sir it's a good deal more exciting than this muck indicating his book frank what is this muck taplo Iskelas sir the agamemnon frank and your considered views that the agamemnon is muck taplo well no sir i don't think the play is muck exactly i suppose in a way it's rather a good plot really a wife murdering her husband and all that i only meant the way it's taught to us just a lot of greek words strung together and 50 lines if you get them wrong frank You sound a little bitter, Taplo. Taplo, I am rather, sir. Frank, Captain, huh? Taplo, no, sir. Extra work. Frank, extra work on the last day of the school. Page fifty-two, Taplo. Yes, sir. And I might be playing golf. You think he would have enough to do anyway himself, considering he is leaving tomorrow for good? But oh no. I missed a day last week when I was ill. So here I am and look at the weather sir. Frank, bad luck. Still there's one comfort. You are pretty well certain to get your remove tomorrow for being a good boy in taking extra work. Taplo. Well, I'm not so sure sir. That would be true of the ordinary masters, all right? They just wouldn't dare not to give a chap a remove after his taking extra work. but those sort of rules don't apply to the crock mr crocker harris i asked him yesterday outright if he would given me a remove and do you know what he said sir frank no what taplo imitating a very gentle rather throaty voice my dear taplo i have given you exactly what you deserve no less and certainly no more do you know sir i think he may have marked me down rather than up for taking extra work i mean the man's hardly human he breaks off quickly sorry sir have i gone too far frank 
Yes, much too far. Tap low. Sorry, sir. I got carried away. Frank, evidently, he picks up a newspaper and opens it. A uh, tap low. Tap low. Yes, sir. Frank, what was that Crocker Harris said to you? Just a uh, repeat it, would you? Tap low. Imitating again. My dear Tap low, I have given you exactly what you deserve. No less and certainly no more. Frank, looking severe, not in the least like him. Read your nice Aeschylus and be quiet. Taplow, with dislike, Aeschylus. Page 53. Frank, look, what time did Mr. Crocker Harris tell you to be here? Taplow, 6.30, sir. Frank, well, he's 10 minutes late. Why don't you cut? You could still play golf before lockup. Taplow, really shocked. Oh, no, I couldn't cut. Cut the croc, Mr. Crocker Harris? I shouldn't think it's ever been done in the whole time he has been here. God knows what would happen if I did. He would probably follow me home or something. Frank, I must admit I envy him the effect he seems to have on you boys in the form. You all seem scared to death of him. What does he do? Beat you all or something? Taplow. Good Lord, no. He's not a sadist like one or two of the others. Frank, I beg your pardon? Taplow. A sadist, sir, is someone who gets pleasure out of giving pain. Frank, indeed. But I think you went on to say that some other masters... Taplow. Well, of course they are, sir. I won't mention names. But you know them as well as I do. Of course, I know most masters think we boys don't understand a thing. But, sir, you are different. You are young. Well, comparatively, anyway. And you are science. You must know what sadism is. Frank, after a pause. Good Lord, what are our schools coming to? Taplow. Anyway, the croc isn't a sadist. That's what I'm saying. He wouldn't be so frightening if he were. Because at least it would show he had some feelings. But he hasn't. He has all shriveled up inside like a nut. And he seems to hate people to like him. It's funny that. I don't know any other master who doesn't like being liked. Page 54 Frank, and I don't know any boy who doesn't use that for his own purposes. Taplow, well, it's natural, sir, but not with the croc. Frank, Mr. Crocker Harris. Taplow, Mr. Crocker Harris. The funny thing is that in spite of everything, I do rather like him. I can't help it. And sometimes I think he sees it. And that seems to shrivel him up even more. Frank, I'm sure you are exaggerating. Taplow, no sir, I am not. In form the other day, he made one of his classical jokes. Of course, nobody laughed because nobody understood it. Myself included. Still, I knew he had meant it as funny. So I laughed. Out of ordinary common politeness and feeling a bit sorry for him for having made a poor joke. Now I can't remember what the joke was, but suppose I make it. Now you laugh, sir. <laughs> Taplow, in a gentle, throaty voice. Taplow, you laughed at my little joke. I noticed. I must confess that I am pleased at the advance your Latin has made since you so readily have understood what the rest of the form did not. Perhaps now you would be good enough to explain it to them, so that they too can share your pleasure. The door upright is pushed open and Millie Crocker Harris enters. She is a thin woman in her late thirties, rather more smartly dressed than the general run of schoolmaster's wives. She is wearing a cape and carries a shopping basket. She closes the door and then stands by the screen watching Taplow and Frank. It is a few seconds before they notice her. Frank, come along, Taplow. Move slowly above the desk. Do not be so selfish as to keep a good joke to yourself. Tell the others. He breaks off suddenly, noticing Millie. Oh, Lord. Page 55 Frank turns quickly and seems infinitely relieved at seeing Millie. Frank. Oh, hello. Millie, without expression. Hello. She comes down to the sideboard and puts her basket on it. 
Milly to Taplow. Waiting for my husband? Taplow, moving down left of the table. Uh, yes. Milly, he is at the bursar's and might be there quite a time. If I were you, I would go. Taplow, doubtfully. He said most particularly I was to come. Milly, well, why don't you run away for a quarter of an hour and come back? She unpacks some things from the basket. Taplow, supposing he gets here before me? Milly, smiling, I'll take the blame. She takes a prescription out of the basket. I tell you what, you can do a job for him. Take this prescription to the chemist and get it made up. Taplow, all right, Mrs. Crocker Harris. He crosses towards the door upright. Page 56 Understanding the Text 1. Comment on the attitude shown by Taplow towards Crocker Harris. 2. Does Frank seem to encourage Taplow's comments on Crocker Harris? 3. What do you gather about Crocker Harris from the play? Talking about the text. Discuss with your partners. 1. Talking about teachers among friends. 2. The manner you adopt when you talk about a teacher to other teachers. 3. Reading plays is more interesting than studying science. Working with words. A sadist is a person who gets pleasure out of giving pain to others. Given below are some dictionary definitions of certain kinds of persons. Find out the words that fit these descriptions. 1. A person who considers it very important that things should be correct or genuine. Example, in the use of language or in the arts. The word starts with P. 2. A person who believes that war and violence are wrong and will not fight in a war. The word starts with P. 3. A person who believes that nothing really exists. The word starts with N. 4. A person who is always hopeful and expects the best in all things. The word starts with O. 5. A person who follows generally accepted norms of behavior. The word starts with C. 6. A person who believes that material possessions are all that matter in life. The word starts with M. Things to do. Based on the text, enact your own version of the play. Work in pairs. Page 57 Notes After the students have read the play silently by themselves, ask them to take on the roles of the three characters and read their parts aloud. Understanding the text Global Comprehension Talking about the text 1. Speaking to each other about something that most students do. Commenting on their teachers. Two teachers take this in a spirit of good humor. 2. Reflecting on how we talk about others in their absence. 3. Science and literature. The dichotomy. Working with words. Common terms used for people with particular behavior patterns or beliefs, taking off from the text with the word sadist. Things to do Instead of conventional role play involving reading out or enacting the original text, students are encouraged to make their own versions of the play based on the same content, creativity, fun and authenticity.